Hi, I'm Linda. Welcome to my kitchen. I'm just going to show you how to make uh, an appetizer today. This is Mona's guacamole. My friend Mona showed me how to make it, and I've been making it ever since, and it's fabulous. So I've already got one avocado in the bowl, and I'm just going to finish the second one. Of course, you need ripe avocados. I love doing that. And get rid of the pit. There we go. It's so easy to just scoop out. Beautiful and soft. Now this is something that is a base and you can actually make to your satisfaction. There's so many things you can do with this. Um, add all kinds of things and I'll show you what I learned and uh, what I've added to it as well. So just take your avocado, mash it in. I'm using two. It's going to make a fair bit, especially if you add it with a salad, a taco salad or something like that. Okay, so just mash. big lumps out. Okay, and that's all nice and soft and then I've prepared just diced tomato. This is one large diced tomato. I'm just going to add all of that in. Mix that up. Now also I'm just going to add some freshly squeezed lime juice. Now that is to taste. A fair bit of it though is very, makes it very uh, very fresh. I'm going to use to use sea salt. And again, it's all personal preference. Some freshly ground black pepper. You can put a touch of olive oil in. I'm just going to put a little in just for sake of showing you. I do sometimes, it sometimes depends where I am. Blend it all together. Now in this case, what Mona showed me was putting a little bit of the diced jalapeno peppers. A little bit is the key thing for me. I, uh, I can't seem to handle anything that's too hot. What I can handle, however, is garlic. That's actually a small clove you can put into your chest again. Each time you try it, you'll find something you like. Maybe it depends on the mood you're in. Maybe it depends on what you're serving with. And there you have it. Mona's guacamole. Now I'll just take some out. What I like to serve this with is seed bread, something like a flat bread. The seeds are firm enough, um, well I should say the, the bread itself is firm enough to hold. 